What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at it again with another video. I literally just finished recording, uh, well, not recording, but streaming AEW's debut show, Collision, with the return of CM Punk. And overall, I have to say, this show was enjoyable. I gave it a 9 out of 10. This show was worth your time checking out. I enjoyed it. The all the matches I enjoyed. The crowd was great. This was fantastic. I, I hopefully they can maintain this momentum going forward and uh we'll see if they are able to but we all know while we was here we all know why we checked this out it's the return of cm punk back to AEW, and they started off the show as we all expected cm punk music hit crowd chanting cm punk it was good to see him out there he had his wrestling shoes tied around his neck he had a bag. We didn't know what was in the bag, but it's kind of alluded to in later on in his promo. So he walks down to the ring or whatever crowd going crazy for him. It was a beautiful sight to see CM Punk back out there to address the masses. He took off the little AEW collision uh, covering on the microphone and he he went in. And I, I'm not going to go for word for word for what he said, but basically what he let us know which we kind of already knew we've seen the the reports we've heard the rumors he's even came out with an interview prior to this show talking about uh his you know issues with the evps and and adam page and you know and all of that we know all of that we got all that context he comes out there he doesn't hide it he let it be known he was injured or whatnot so he had to step away he didn't go into great detail but I like how he addressed it. It the the theme the theme of this promo is tell me when I'm telling lies. And I like how he addressed pretty much the situation. He didn't even act them. He didn't say their names or nothing, but we know who he was talking about. He basically let it be known that pretty much there oh them got the uh amber alert. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh but uh he pretty much put out there that um there are some people there's probably some people in the back that don't like me you know what i'm saying and you know I, he really doesn't care he said it himself i i don't i'm not about to be the nice guy anymore and people thought he was gonna turn heel but i don't think that's happening soon or well, right now but he's like he's not about to be the nice guy anymore and there's 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 people that he's working with you know or has worked with that don't like him that don't agree with him that don't uh, like the fact that he is this popular that he is this guy you know they don't feel like he brings anything to the comp uh, to the business anymore he brought up the fact that i'm sure he's seen a lot of people saying he should probably just hang it up and retire that's why you know he even brought out his wrestling boots wrestling shoes and he's like there is nobody in the back you know what i'm saying that can feel these shoes there's nobody y'all want me to retire that's fine cool but y'all can't even fill these shoes up. So I'm not retiring. I love that. And once again, the whole theme of this show, of uh, this promo is tell me when I'm telling lies or whatnot. And there, there was even a F the elite chant because he started talking about them uh, in the sense of people not liking him or whatnot. And I, I just, I, I appreciate that he didn't, he didn't even have to get his hands dirty. You know, he, he he really didn't even have to go to that point of like, you know, media scrum punk and just like outing anybody out because we already kind of have an idea of what's going on. We just don't have the clear, clarity of it. And even then, he didn't go into great detail. He just let it be known. Some people don't like him in the back anymore, whatever. And he even made up, uh, he even said something that like there's some people that think I should apologize. And I love how he spun this. He said, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to those who I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to those that I may have heard or whatever. I'm sorry for y'all being so soft. <laughs> and I love that. And the crowd went crazy. I'm sorry for y'all being so soft. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Everyone's entitled to their opinions and feelings. But the simple fact, at the end of the day, this is a wrestling business. He made a point to make that true. Uh, clear this is a wrestling business which emphasis on business and you're not gonna always get along 
It's not going to always be, you know, everything's great in the back. It's, it's, it's part of the business. Everybody's trying to become the, you know, the top guy at some point. So there's going to be some robberies. There's going to be some tension here and there. But you're supposed to make sure the business continues to thrive. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. The EVPs, they definitely, they've been on the counter side of that. They they don't want to do business with him at all. They, you know, they, they send their shots. They have their issues with him or whatever. And it, I'm going to be honest with you. It definitely does seem soft, bro. I'm just, I'm going to keep it a stack. It does. I'm all about settling issues. Hey, we can talk to each other like men. We don't have to be friends, but if we can make something work for the betterment of the business and make some money out of it, cool. If you don't want to work with me, that's fine. We ain't got to talk. That's fine. Whatever. But doing all the extra stuff and running to the dirt sheets and, and, you know, pushing that narrative to try to get everyone to side with you that hate one guy is soft i'm just keeping the stack so honest I, I like how he addressed that once again everyone knew who he was talking about and it was a good promo and then he started talking about what he had in the bag and this is where things got interesting it's pretty much from what he says we didn't see it he said that's the AEW championship that's in that bag i never lost it so someone has to beat me in my opinion and he said something to the camera. He said, uh, I don't know if he said hello, Max, or something like that. But he definitely sent some shots at MJF. So I do think we're going to get that feud later down the line. Because he's like, I'm really the champion. Whatever champion y'all got now ain't me. Because they never beat me. So it's going to be very interesting what they do with that. So I'm looking forward to that. We all know MJF. CM Punk run that feud back. MJF as the AEW champion. CM Punk still crowning himself as the unbeaten champion. Let's run it back. I think that whew, that's that's television gold right there. So I'm all for that. But overall, the show was good. Um, I will say this before I end this video. Uh, that last match was fantastic. Seeing Samoa Joe and CM Punk getting the ring and the crowd goes crazy because of their history and their their past in ROH I am all for CM Punk making that the starting feud I know there was rumors saying he wanted to have a starting feud with Samoa Joe let's get it going uh Samoa Joe's team lost he didn't get pinned though let's get that feud going I simple simple let's get a hot feud to get people wanting to check out the show and let's build around everything else. So, honestly, I enjoyed the promo segment. Like I said, he didn't get too disrespectful. He kept it within the lines that I'm sure Tony Khan uh, put out there. He said a whole bunch without saying no names, but we all knew who, who, he, was, who he was talking about. If you know the situation, you knew exactly who he was talking about. And he sent the shots, and he's not apologetic, and... I can appreciate it, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy CM Punk's return? Did you guys enjoy the promo he had? Did you guys enjoy the show overall? What feuds are you looking forward to him having the most in this return? For me, it's Samoa Joe. And then we can run it back with MJF, especially with what he said. Uh, you know, pretty much calling him out saying, I'm really the true champ. So let me know down below. Wanted to get this video out to you guys, man, because you guys showed up on Saturday tonight to you know be a part of the stream on my personal page and i'm gonna thank you guys so much for that uh, more content more videos dropping this weekend man as well so be on the lookout bro i appreciate all love support road to 150k and i'm sitting on the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all on the next one peace